stop and change direction completely. Hi, welcome to the show. Today we're going to learn about how painting can be um, an extraordinarily different thing that you can do with your time. I'm going to be making my future today through the imagination of paint that I don't have. Whatever you decide your future wants to be. Before I went to paint college, I was a total um, blank sheet of paper. Now. I have something uh, to share with the world, whether it be imagination, toxic slime, fear, anything that you want to express to the world, you can do that with a painting. Before I start any painting, I make sure to avoid any hiccups or bumpies that might get in the way. Let's start off with a quick sketch to get our mind going. A really, really, really quick sketch. It's always a little intimidating to look at a blank canvas. We're going to start with a little bit of drawing first on a fresh new canvas here uh, that I just uh, stretched last night. So treat for you guys, isn't it? So I'm going to make a little bit of a dreamscape right here. Something that I um, see in my dreams. So right now we're just blocking things out, because I always say pencil first, pencil last. You start a painting with a pencil, you end it with a pencil. A couple shops over here. And so I'm thinking here there's going to be a little tight roping man, just kind of trying to get to the other side here. He'll do anything to get to the store. He will go anywhere to get a quick bag of sugar. He, he will not ask his neighbors. There's a quick figure right here, reclining right here. We have a reclining figure right here. I think once we've got most is blocked out, we're going to put this right here. It's the block right here. Kind of mountain right there. Nope, no, that's not, nope. No, I actually want to put, nope. I don't want there, I don't want that there anymore. Don't take too much time making any decisions, um, but make sure you make the right decision the first time so you don't confuse the painting anymore. Couple gulls up here. Just to, just to give kind of a, a landscape space right now. I don't know which part of America this is going to be in yet, um, but I think, you know, once like my imagination gets kind of rolling, kind of, uh, I'll know exactly uh, what time zone this is going to be in. Okay, so now we're going to get to doing some quick blocking washes, a little red blocking, so I can get all the reds out in the beginning of the painting, so I don't really need to mix any reds before it's too late. You never want things to be too late in a painting. Once it's too late, you can't do anything about anything in a painting. That's the first thing I ruled in, um, I, that I learned in painting college. Okay, I think we're ready, uh, just about ready to, um, to set up the palette and, you know, get 
get going. Like, we have to get going. We, we have, have to finish this. Get going. So we're gonna want way too much white on the palette. So, okay. It's just a squeeze box I'm using to get this out. One, two, three, four. And that, that, that'll do it, because I'm out.